telescoping gauge we want. Austin is feeling awfully noisy. It's probably what I pay him for. So when we go in here, I'm going to be letting this end of the telescoping gauge swing in the bore as it comes to closer and closer to the in line with the center of where we are on the diameter. But on the bar end, what I'm going to be doing is as it's coming up tight, I'm going to back off just a little bit and hold this where it's setting. Rock this so that this stays in the bore, doesn't progress forward. And I'm going to try to find where it is the tightest and move it forward. And keep going back and forth and find just to where I can't find a tighter spot. And I'm not going to guarantee that anybody's going to get in here to see what we are doing. And getting your, your gauge first set and... So you got some kind of a setting is, is part of the harder part, actually, more so than swinging it through for size even. You can see a little bit there where I'm, that's the crude start, but where I'm making a bit of an arc and finding that point where it was the tightest. So I can back up there and pull a little bit more. Oops, I moved, moved my far end, so then I can start back again a little bit. Another thing that we do here, okay, is we measure this, and we try to get three measurements that are the same. So, 0.736. Of course, right now, I probably don't have a dead straight bore yet. Um, the bit's a little broke down. There probably was some taper. It doesn't feel bad, though. It doesn't feel bad. 